Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's unboxing video brings us a new pair of boots from legendary Chinese bootmaker Flame Panda. For those of you who are not aware, Flame Panda is led by Peng, who is a philosophical bootmaker who actually runs a business that I think is largely com composed of his family members who help manufacture some of the best boots in the world in terms of just beauty coupled with incredible craftsmanship, beautiful lasts, incredibly beautiful, rugged style. In my mind, Flame Panda represents some of the best skill and craftsmanship available. And we're gonna take a look at this makeup that actually took an incredibly long period of time to get done. What we have here is gonna be a Brogue Cap Toe service boot made up of a beautiful shinky oiled horse butt leather in a chocolate color, uh, so a dark rich brown. And uh, the Shinky Oiled Horse Butt is a leather from the Shinky Hikaku Tannery out of Japan and has gained a reputation in the rugged menswear community for being a really beautiful leather. So let's get to the unboxing here. You can see this beautiful packaging right here. What we see right now are a pair of laces and what look like actually two different laces strung together. So we have some lacing options for these boots. This is the logo for Flame Panda. Also goes by the term Goo Boots, which um, I believe are some of how his brand is termed in China. A beautiful um, logo kind of representing Flame Panda. One really large rugged boot bag, I believe. This is all one bag. So here we go. And now we have hiding and actually Two additional more um, uh, paper-like material is um, a couple of boot bags encasing these two beautiful boots. So excited to show you this. There doesn't appear to be any other material. So let's go ahead and do a reveal. And there we are. Beautiful, really beautiful piece of craftsmanship here. This is his brogued cap toe service boot, military style service boot, obviously done very elegantly. Let's take a look at the second boot shoes, but this is the pair here that I ordered back in June of 2021 when I was first discovering this beautiful shinky oiled horse butt leather, which has this natural characteristic grain, which makes it really cool and unique. It's actually rather thick leather. Um, I have a number of other boots now in this type of leather and it's it's almost like shell cordovan in terms of its thickness. It takes a while to break in and uh, takes a bit of a commitment. I'm not sure I was fully aware of that when I first got into these boots, but make for a really rugged, handsome looking boot. Just one that takes a little effort to go into. So you can see a beautiful profile. This is the 181 last, which is a round toed, slightly almond shaped last. You can see the beautiful stitch work done. One of the things I love about Peng is how clean his stitch down construction is. You can see a 270 degree stitch down construction here. I'm um, going all the way to the end here. He um, applied a curved heel here, kind of a Cuban style heel with a hand stacked leather heel block. You can see the scalloping here all the way around this boot. Let me see if I can show you that right there. So the taper all the way around. You can see the Dr. Soul uh, raw cord um, super grip sole here. I've had a number of pairs. This is a heavier sole. You can see this very rugged double leather sole here. Um, and um, just a really lovely, lovely makeup. 181 last. You can see this fairly rugged heel cup. You can see this pull tab here that's really kind of stiff, but it actually ends right here. It's a strip that gets connected down to the heel counter here. You can see this swooping side panel characteristic of the service style boot. Very, very clean stitch work done across that upper. Really almost not a single stitch out of place, which is just why it takes such a long time to get these boots is that they're putting a ton of craftsmanship and skill into every pair. Not a single error, I don't think, that I see 
you can see four eyelets here. One, two, three, four. Three speed hooks. And if I bring you close, you can see the Goo Boots icon on the speed hooks. These are antique brass speed hooks. You can see this beautiful collar done to create a nice profile on top of the shoe. It's a folded leather here and the tongue done in the same leather. So just a really beautiful makeup of this pair of boots. A few last details, just pulling you into the broguing, which is very cleanly done. And this rich marble looking leather, which you can really see accentuated. So it seems that the shoe and the boot is clicked rather well. I will say there is a slight asymmetry between the grain pattern on the vamp over on this pair, which is a little less pronounced than the green pattern here, which you can see stands out a little bit more. It's pretty subtle, but you know, these are natural green leathers. And um, I think overall the skiving and the leather clicking and cutting seems to be done rather nicely. And I'm excited to uh, give these guys a try. take a look as well. 15 month wait for me, probably about a year for most people from what I've heard. I think it just took a longer time for me because of how my order was placed and revised. And that's okay. Have a good one. Bye-bye.